All right, so today we got uh, an unboxing with something I got to build. For Christmas, I got uh, the family a spin bike. And I went on Amazon to research it to see which one I would get. I got the, and I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing this right, the Damasum um, spin bike. And this one came out to $300. It was $350 with a $50 coupon on Amazon. Ordered it, it got here in about three days. And so what I did right now is just unboxed it. And here it is. I basically just cut open all the ends and the two um, styrofoam containers that the, were on the side, the packaging boxes. And here it is. Let's see what we got. As you can see, it comes pretty, pretty complete. Looks like I've got to do some building of it though. Here's the seat. Let's see. No, what I did is I took all, I like when I build stuff, I like uh, taking all the parts off of it. Oh, looks like a water bottle cage with a pretty wide seat and so i took all the parts out already and i like laying them out so that way i know what i'm going to be building and let's get to building this oh wow this thing's heavy well the reason why it's heavy it's because it's got i think a 45 pound flywheel so that's the one right there but all right but got all the instructions here, so now it's time to read it and put it together. This goes to the front. Looks like we're done. I got everything put together. It took me 45 minutes, and I really did take my time with it. One thing I'll say about putting it together, it comes put, put together pretty easily. Um, the tools that it came with, I definitely used a different screwdriver and a couple different wrenches just to make it go faster. But other than that, it's really simple to put together. Um, so now we got it. Let's see. Let's give it a go. I know why. There we go. Let's see. Okay, now it's gotten really tight, but if I stand up, there we go. Oh yeah. You could, you could definitely get a good workout with this. Of course, I'm not dressed for it right now. just building it. Most part. Pretty simple, pretty basic, but for what I need it for, it'll do the job. There we go. Now I've had the bike for three, four days. I actually worked it out, worked out on it three times, and I'm really happy with the bike. Um, it's the DMA Sun. I'm not even sure how you pronounce it. The Masson, I guess. Um, it was super easy to put together. I love the color of the bike, the matte black with the red, the cover, huge flywheel. I'm gonna um, point out some things that I really like about the bike. Um, the first thing, like I said, the color. The color of the bike, the black uh, matte finish looks really clean, looks very, um, just kind of uh, uh, fits in like a stealth. I like that, you know, it looks like it's a very good quality build bike. It's a heavy bike. Um, the frame on the bike itself, was really sturdy. The way it sits is nice, nice wide base. You've got both of these, um, both bars, the front and back tubes that are nice and big and sturdy. I've seen some other ones online that look a little bit more narrow. What I liked about this bike, so I weigh 220. And so for 220, and as I get up and everything, the bike doesn't rock. The flywheel, I noticed that when I looked at reviews, they say the heavier the flywheel, the better. I think this one comes with a 40, I think it's a 42 pound flywheel, which is really good. Um, the bike is super quiet. I'm okay with the pedals. Uh, I'll, I'll get into it right now so you can see. I actually am probably gonna change out the pedals to have some clip-in SPD pedals, you know, with the bike shoes, because I've always had that with all the bikes I've had. So I think I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna change it. But all in all, I mean, I've used the cages, this, you know, the tow cages this way, it works fine. Uh, the bike does come with a little computer type reader and a tablet holder. Uh, I'm going to tell you some of the things I did to the bike right off the bat is I actually took this little computer off. It doesn't give you a lot of information. So I actually took this off. I don't even have that connected. Um, the other thing is that um, the reason why I took it off is I have my heart rate monitor, a chest heart rate monitor, and you can do that. And if you've got like your iPhone, uh, your iWatch, that has the, the heart rate on it. And so the thing also added to the bike is down here. There's a little unit here, a little um, unit that I bought 
that's a cadence sensor. And that's this, I think it ran me like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. It's pretty cheap. And so this little system just straps on, this little sensor just steps on. And I hooked up my Garmin watch. And with my Garmin watch and my chest strap, strap along with the cadence sensor, I'm able to measure the calories I burn, what the speed kind of, the cadence I'm going at, which is really important, which is more important, total time on on there. And the reason why I say the heart rate is I'm trying to keep my heart rate around. So what I did is I figured out my fat burning zone, my, my cardio zones, and I try to keep my heart rate between 135 and 155. 155 being on the high end, 135 on the low end. If I go a little bit below that, I'm not a really in an aerobic state. So I did that. All I did was just put this on here and I got that there. Um, the other thing is that I really liked about the bike. Uh, these are really sturdy handlebars. Now it does have here some uh, sensors so you can measure your heart rate. And I have the heart rate monitor. I think that's better and easier to use. The other thing is once I started using the bike, it does come with the tablet holder here. You know, a little thing that you can put your um, tablet on. I didn't like it because there's parts here. Um, if you can see, if you want me close, the way I use the bike is I'll put my hands here and that actually gets in the way. I have big hands, but even if you had smaller hands, my daughter used it and she didn't like this holder either. So what I did is I took it off. I took this thing off. And what I did, and that's why you see this bat having here, I just threw my phone and the remote control that I keep in here. The remote control, actually it fits because it's a long remote control, but if not, I can throw it in this bag and that's why I have the bag here. And that's all I really need. I love it that way. It's much simpler, works a lot better. Um, the seat, very, very nice, big, big, wide, cushy seat. Look at that. It's got a lot of cushion to it. Um, the adjustability, I don't think it's made for anybody taller. I'm six feet, um, 220 pounds, like I said. I think my weight wise, it says it goes up to 300 pounds. Uh, I'm, I don't know if that works or not, but I know for me, the seat is really comfortable, but the height on the seat and the height on the handlebars, I have it almost to the max. I think it, it's no, if, you, if you're taller than six feet, I don't know how well it's gonna work for you. Now, the way I set it up for myself, oh, by the way, also, I love the water bottle holder, really easy to do. The resistance setting on this thing is great. Um, I'd say do it for $300. You're not gonna have to spend two, three, four times the amount uh, for just getting a good quiet workout in there. So if you guys are thinking of doing it, go on Amazon. It was $50 off of the normal price of $349. So again, I got it for $300 and that's why I went for it. All right, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message and I'll try to answer what I've got. Today is January, I'm sorry, December 31st. So I'll be starting out the new year, hopefully with uh, some more toys to use. Stay safe, God bless, happy new year.